What is up, YouTube? It's me, John Avenger, once again, and welcome to another 90s Are All That Month. And this is review number 11 of This is Another Jean-Claude Van Damme Movie. This is a couple years earlier than Double Team. It's a sci-fi action film from 1992, the very first in a series of films, Universal Soldier. Yeah, this is the special edition DVD that came out uh, back in 2010, I believe, or something like that. Yeah, Lionsgate re-released it in a special edition with features, and this film is a is a really good film. It's definitely the best of the franchise because you had two sequels without Van Damme that were TV movies. One was decent, one was horrendous. Uh, the Return, which I have to review that one, which was a huge bomb, and then you had two direct-to-video versions that that are just complete waste of your time. Uh, Regeneration and the other one. No, just. See this first one if you want to get the real fix of the Universal Soldier films because you got Dolph Lundgren and and uh, and Van Damme. They play these soldiers in the beginning of the film that get killed and they get turned into these super soldiers with you know like abilities and you know they're not human anymore. But it's a really fun movie that it's uh, it's definitely R rated. It's not too long. It's 102 minutes, so it's under two hours long. Uh, the action scenes are very well done on the low budget that they had for. 1992 uh this is directed by roland emmerich the guy that gave us independence day and the remake of godzilla and 2012 and white house down the guy is a really good director i don't know why he gets shit on by everybody uh i know he's doing independence day too which i have no interest in because that's just gonna rehash stuff from the first one this is when the guy had the touch because he he's a german director basically and he he has a good style to him, you know, his films are, yeah, a lot of his stuff is a lot of explosions and cities being destroyed, but hey, Michael Bay did that and he made, he made that into billions of dollars at the box office with the Transformers films, but I think these are better, uh, the his, Roland Emmerich's films, at least his films don't piss me off as much, and uh, I like this film, I think this is one of Van Damme's best films, it's definitely one of his best mainstream films that were not direct-to-video it's got a good look to it. It feels like an 80s film. It's kind of like Terminator. This came out after Terminator 2, so it's not a rip-off. And uh, it, it definitely, it's a good, it has a good cast. I like the girl in it. Um, uh, Allie Walker, I think she's good in the film. You got Ed o. Ross. You got Jerry Orbach. Music by Christopher Frank. Really good team that worked on this film. I, I, I like the direction of the film. I like the fight scene at the end with Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren in the in the I believe it's in the rain. It's really well done. It's just, you know, it's it's 90s action at its, its best. And, uh, you know, it, it does what it has to do. Luke Devereaux's a, a likable character. You know, even when he dies and becomes a soldier, you still feel for him at the end. Um, the film is well paced. It has a good, it has great editing. You know, you can see what's going on. They don't have to shake the camera when Dolphin... Van Damme are fighting each other. That would be stupid. I like to see what's going on, and here it does. Um, it's definitely you know has a post-apocalyptic uh, feel to it, like a uh, soldier with uh, um, Kurt Russell and a bunch of other films. Yeah, it's kind of like that. And they did Cyborg, Cyborg Two, Three. There, there was a lot of films kind of like this, and I do think this film is very well done, and it should be more appreciated by fans. Don't discard this as a bad Van Damme film. It's better than a lot of his films recently, and is definitely the best of this franchise. I think they should have just, to be honest, they should have stopped with the return because that was, you know, it, everything came full swing. Van Damme came back, Dolph didn't, but it, it had an ending that I think, you know, you know, should have ended it there. They shouldn't have done more in the two thousands and ruined it. And uh, this character's cool. The fi the film has held up. It's almost 30 years old. Excuse me, I'm tired. You know, I had a lot, a long week. But this film is worth it, and I would advise you guys to go see it, find a copy of it, and watch the original Universal Soldier. It's definitely worth your time. So that's my review of Universal Soldier. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing and commenting on my videos. I appreciate it. I haven't gotten any comments for my uh, double team review. That's kind of rare, I guess, because I uploaded it late. This one will be a little bit earlier so you guys can get a chance to see it. Thanks for watching and take care and I'll see you in the next one.